Hey, this is Aaron Hobson with Red Hood Guitar. And it's that uh, barren week between Christmas and New Year's where everybody is away and I have a lot more time to do videos, yay. So um, anyway, I'm continuing my theme with uh, application of the pentatonic scale. Um, I'm gonna show you like a series of exercises and things to kind of get you out of the rut of just playing the scale up and down. Because when we learn the scale, we just ascend and descend the scale. And that's all well and good. You learn your pattern, you learn your notes, but it's not very musical. Um, so last video, I gave you this exercise just to kind of get your fingers to do something different. And this video, I'm gonna show you another exercise that is based off of the interval of a fourth. So if you forget what a fourth is, I have some earlier videos that talk about intervals and specifically the interval of a fourth. Uh, you can review theory lesson two, uh, which is intervals, and theory lesson four, which is the circle of fourths and fifths to kind of get you um, acquainted with that if you don't know what that is already. Um, so anyway, here is my A pentatonic scale. I start on the fifth fret and I go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five eight, five, eight, and then back. So it's a little box shape that everybody should know by now. Um, and what I'm going to do, uh, so remember that a fourth, um, in the grand scheme of things, a fourth is you go uh, two whole steps and a half step. So in this case I'm going A, this is B, C sharp, D would be a fourth away from A. Um, but instead of going from here to here, fourths on the guitar, the guitar is tuned in fourths. So if I start on an A note, my fourth is here, this is my D, my fourth is here, this is my G, my fourth is C, here. So it's kind of in guitar, you're just going down a string, That's those are fourths, because your guitar is tuned in fourths, E to A, A to D, D to G, with the exception of these two, G to B, and then E to A. Um, I mean, sorry, B to E, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two notes from this left side of the scale and then two notes from the right side of the scale. So if you watch, I'm going to put a link to my website with a little uh, tab diagram on how to do this. But um, for now, you can just watch. So I have fifth fret on the top string on the E and I roll my finger down to fifth fret on the A. So five, five, then I go eight on the E to seven on the A. So five to five, eight to seven. Pointer, roll my pointer down, pinky, ring. All right, now I'm just gonna continue this pattern, left side, right side, with the two string groupings as I go down. So I, I went from E to A, now my string grouping is gonna be A to G, no, I'm sorry, A to D. So I go uh, five on the A, five on the D, seven on the A, seven on the D. So I go. So I do a roll down with my pointer finger and a roll down with my ring finger. Okay. Now I'm going down to the next string grooving, which is D to G. I go five on the D, five on the G, seven on the D, seven on the G. Pointer, pointer, ring, ring. Again, just like a little roll down. I go to the next string grouping, G to B. Five to five, seven to eight, because the pattern changes there from uh, the um, seventh fret to the eighth fret. You gotta use your pinky. So you go pointer, pointer, ring to pinky. Last two strings are the B and the E. So I go five to five, and then eight to eight. Pointer to pointer, roll down, pinky to pinky. So if I put it all together, I have So those are all fourths playing through the pentatonic scale. So it's just a little exercise, you know. I'm just
just messing around here. I'm just kind of noodling around. I'm just kind of showing you that it, it provides like a little bit more of a melodic approach than just playing up and down the scale all the time. You can like throw these things in. So every time you ascend something, you want to descend. Um, so I'm here on the eighth fret bottom string. So I'm going to go from the E to the B, E to the B. So I go eight, eight, five, five. Next string grouping, B to G, 8, 7, 5, 5, pinky, ring, pointer, pointer. Uh, next string grouping, G to D, uh, 7, 7, 5, 5, ring, ring, pointer. Um, now the next string grouping, D to A, 7, 7, 5, 5, ring, ring, pointer, pointer. Uh, next string grouping, A to E, 7, 8. So if I go backwards, right? So again, you alternate your picking strokes when you do all this stuff too. So here I'm going, I'm going, um, if you can watch my right hand, down, uh, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, that way I'm not crossing over the strings, doing it this way, which be creates more work for your hand to do it that way. It gets your hand tired and you don't get as much speed. Um, so ascending, I've got five, five, eight, seven, five, five, seven, seven. And I'm doing the same thing with the alternate picking, except this time I'm going down, down, up, down. You want to do it with all of your patterns. This would be pattern two, pattern three, pattern four, pattern five. Every time, I mean, I'm not going to go through and, and do each one of those individually, but if you know all of your patterns and you understand the concept of what I'm doing here, and you see the pattern within what I'm doing, it's easy enough to move it to all of your patterns across the fretboard. And there's also little variations you can do on this. So, um, <clears throat> you know, this one I was going side to side, like this, E to A, E to A, but you could also go from the E string to the A string, stay on the A string, go back to the E string. So that'd be five to five, seven to eight. So go um, pointer, pointer, ring, pinky. The next string, same, five, five, seven, seven. So I'm going from the A to the D to the D, stay on the D, going back to the A. Five, five, seven, seven. I'm just reversing the direction of the second one. Five, five. put that together then I do the same going back I go um, from the E to the B eight, eight, stay on the B go to the E I'll have a link to these so you can actually see them tabbed out. Um, so also, you can play these together as little two note chords. You know, so I got five and five, eight and seven, five and five, seven and seven, five and five, seven and seven, five and five, seven and eight, five and five, eight and eight, and then practice backwards. Eight and eight, five and five, seven and eight, five and five, seven. So that's kind of fun. I mean, how many times have you heard that? Chuck Berry? Right? So there's 
all kinds of fun you can have with these and they're just really little exercises. Of course, uh, like I said, you can do these with all of your patterns. So this is pattern two. So anyway, um, that is uh, that is just another exercise that you can do and some variations on them. Remember to always use your alternate picking. Always uh, use the correct fingerings when you're playing things. Um, and always uh, practice everything in all of your scale patterns, not just one scale pattern. Um, and try to practice them in different keys. I mean, I gave them all to you in A, but you can do them all in any key, really, any time. So uh, anyway, that's it for now. See you next time.